Mangalam Pali of Grade 9F of DPS Nacharam. I know you guys are all feeling bored during this lockdown and I must admit, I was too. But as Skillmonks provides us this wondrous opportunity, I'd like to tell you a few ways to keep yourself entertained during this lockdown. And so the first way is to be productive. By being productive, I mean reading a book. And book doesn't always mean studying. You can read a novel. For me, I love fantasy. But of course, it'll change for you. Might like fiction, sci-fi or more. And another way is learning a language. Learning a language stimulates parts of your mind that other activities do not. And of course, it's a bonus. It's fun. So, during lockdown, you can learn new skills without having to feel guilty about it. For me, the skill I learned is card tricks. For you, it might change. You might like real magic tricks or you might like singing, dancing, etc. So, as a thank you for watching this video, I'd like to entertain you with a few good magic tricks that I've learned. Cue it. So, for this trick, I'll be needing four cards. They should be the four queens. So, let me just quickly introduce the queens to you. We have one, two, three, and four, right? So, let me just... Uh, these queens are actually pretty important for the trick. So, let's just pick them up and keep them aside. As we wouldn't want them for now. So, now I'm just going to quickly give this a shuffle and... Uh, so now I'm going to look for something called a secret prediction, okay? I do not want the camera to capture this as this is my secret prediction. This is my secret prediction card and I'm going to keep it right here. Now I'd ask my spectator to pick absolutely any card. I'm going to turn away while she does this. She has placed it on top of the deck. Now I'm just gonna lose a card somewhere into the middle. So now you remember the four queens, right? We have one, two, three, four. Now I'll just, I'm the, I'll just quickly show them to you once. We have one, two, three, and four. So now these queens are gonna reach to my prediction card. For them, my prediction card is very special. So first, the red queen goes. We think she has reached. But uh, seeing the first red queen go, the second red queen looks at her and uh, thinks maybe even I can go for it. So seeing the first red queen go, the second red queen also follows. But then something very weird happens. The red queen gets stuck in traffic and I had to stay back. But meanwhile, the black we uh, queens have been more productive and managed to reach my prediction card. But then what is my so told about prediction card? I'll be needing four red cards and four black cards. This trick is all about illusions and the topic that covers what you see is not what you get. So first, let me pull out the four red cards. One, two, three, and four. Let me put them aside as for now, we won't be needing them. So now, uh, you've just seen uh, like four, um, let me pull out four red cards and leave four black cards, right? But there's something weird. The last card is a red card. But we don't want red, so let's put them aside right here. The second last card is also a red card, so let's put that right here. The last two cards are both red cards, let's put them right here. But So you've just seen four reds instead of four black. But what you see is not what you get. You saw an illusion as they are all black cards again. Okay, so now on top of these red cards, let's put all the black cards. So now, first black card, let's put it down normally. So now uh, we'll go for the second black card right here and we'll put it down on top like this. The last two cards, both the black cards, we'll put them down on, on them like that. So on top of the red cards, I've just put the black cards. But what you see is again, not what you get because snap your fingers and they are interwoven. 